I'm Amy Barton with the Intel Software Network. I'm here at the Consumer Electronics Show 2010 in Las Vegas, and we just announced the launch of our Intel App Up Center beta store for netbooks. So Sasha from netbooknews.com, I wanted to find out what you thought about the new launch. Well, first of all, thanks for having me uh, over here at the Intel booth, Amy. Um, yeah, I was I was excited uh, about the App Up Center since you announced it already uh, at IDF back in September in San Francisco. Um, I was amazed how quickly you made it public, even though it's a beta right now, right? but I think it's good to get feedback from your potential customers, from the users, so that you can even get better on the App Up Center. And uh, I think you just did this from scratch in like 102 days. Yeah, I think it was about that since we announced it at IDF and came to CES. At IDF we announced the developer program, trying to get developers in, yeah. getting them to start writing applications, get excited about the new platform because the growth in Netbooks is really just amazing. And we want developers to be able to take advantage of that and have a great distribution model. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, And so here at the Consumer Electronics Show we announced a consumer store, so consumers can now start downloading and testing the apps and we hope this will even drive more innovation yeah. on Netbooks. So what, what, what I really like about the App Up Center is it doesn't feel like just a website. You know, the App Up Center itself is an application and it shows you what you can do with a netbook. When, we, when we're comparing it to ordinary app stores, I mean, right now we only have experience with app stores on smartphones, so that's on a pretty limited display, like three to four inch. And um, the way you guys are taking advantage of this bigger screen, higher resolution, getting more content and information that will help users to uh, get to know about this future application they want to maybe buy or the free ones they're going to download, getting some screenshot on there, reviews and everything. For a beta version, I was very, very impressed. Not because it looked so technology-wise advanced, because it was very simple. And I think that's what it's all about, because netbooks are appealing to the average user and the everyday uh, person, right? And not not so much the geeks down there. And they really, really need to have the chance to uh, get to the apps they want uh, ASAP and uh, feel confident on what they're doing in the uh, App Up Center. And I think you you guys and Peter and uh, Scott, they, they did just an amazing job. Well, thank you. Do you have any advice for developers on the types of applications they should start thinking about? Do you see anything that was missing in the store that developers should jump on now? Um, what I really like, uh, the application you got on there, I think it's right now over a hundred applications already and it's getting more and more every day. Um, and you, you already had a couple of social uh, media and social network applications, I really like that. Um, in general, it's, you know, try out the app up center, right? See how this application works out already and, and how, it, how this is working on a netbook and then you might guess you know what future applications or networks can look like try out some other applications from other developers uh, at the app up center there it's really cool stuff uh, available and um, so it's kind of hard for me to define um, what kind of app you should write because okay. uh, I mean the possibilities are just uh, just enormous yeah, and really, really, yeah. yeah. And we, we do have the help link up on the App Up Center, and so if a consumer is looking for something that they don't see, they can put it into the community, and our developers have access to that. So it's another way that access the developers can decide what to write, and consumers can get the apps they need. Yeah. The advice that I could give to uh, to Adam developers: um, take a look at the new netbook platforms that are getting announced over here. That will be in the stores in the next two weeks. So January, the whole Pine Trail uh, generation of netbooks is getting rolled out. Take a look at what kind of specific features they have. We will also see a lot of multi-touch uh, convertibles, what I call netvertible netbooks that you can use as a tablet, netbooks with GPS, netbooks with 3G, and so see what kind of platform is available and think about what you can do with it in the future. Because we're talking about devices with a battery life of 10, sometimes even to 14 hours, um, that will be always connected uh, over 3G, that would even receive a GPS signal. So I think location-based services together with a little bit of social networking and social media, a kind of mashup of all these things, would be very, very interesting and would be an exciting application. Yeah, it's very exciting to think about the future of netbooks. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. So thank you very much, Sasha. Thank you, Amy.